Because what really drives volatility is when the unexpected happens. The unknown unknown hits the market. But I think you bring up a really good point is that, you know, why is it sometimes like vol overreact and sometimes it underreact? And positioning certainly can play a part in that. Um, I think also depends on the catalyst, right? Because what really drives volatility is when the unexpected happens. The unknown unknown hits the market. That's when you get, you know, traders starting to panic, really lifting kind of that price of opportunity across the board. That's what happened in August of 2015 with the China slowdown. It was you know, the first time that people really started considering like a hard landing in China, what that means for global growth. By the time February came around, we've been talking about that risk for six months. Yes, you, you get incrementally worse data out of China, but at that point, it wasn't new news, right? You had time to position your portfolio or maybe de-lever, right, parts part of your portfolio. Therefore, you don't really have that same effect going into February. I think that I generally break it down into two mental uh, structures. One, everybody's fighting the last war. That's kind of what you're talking about, right? People have just seen it happen. Yeah. They de-levered, they had time, they were prepared. Um, that's definitely the case.